Hello. Welcome to 5 Minute Fridays. Yep, another week has gone by and it's Friday again and we're back with my 5 Minute Friday. So this one is a real quick one, but it's really useful and actually it's not particularly well known. We got meatballs, we got rice, we got pasta, we got chili. We're multitasking. And while we're doing all this, my PC upstairs is rendering a bunch of different projects all in one go. And that's what we're gonna have a little look at today. Setting a bunch of different separate projects all to render at the same time. Now I know, it sounds really obvious, but it's actually sort of hidden away within Resolve. So enough waffle, let me show you how to do it. So here I am in Resolve. Now this is a project I've been working on, this is a 5 Minute Friday video, and it's all ready to go. So I'm going to click on Deliver, to take me to the Deliver screen. Now I'm going to apply my Alex YouTube preset. If you don't know how to make custom presets, click on the link shown above to take you to a video which shows you how to create those. Now it's all ready for render, so I'm going to click on Add to Render Queue and I'll pop it over here on the right hand side. Now if I wanted to render this, I'd simply hit start render and the rendering would begin. But we don't want to do this one on its own. There's a second video which I've been working on which is also ready to go and I want to render that one at the same time. So what we need to do is just click file and save project just to make sure everything's saved and then file project manager and I'll open this screen. This is the screen you usually see the first thing when you open DaVinci Resolve. Now this is the video that I want to render at the same time. So I'm going to open this project and this project I'll open and I'll be on the deliver screen. Now I know this is all ready to go so I'm happy to add this to the render queue and start the rendering. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to apply the same presets just for my instance and I need to give this one a name and I'm going to add to the render queue. Again job one 24mm unboxing I could render that on its own. Now up at the top right here there's an ellipsis. Click on this there's an option to show all projects. If I click that there are my two renders. So I've got job one 5 minute Friday which is the one I previously added to the render queue and then I've got job two, 24 millimeter, and that's this project here, which I've just this second added to the render queue. Now you, if you've never been into this area before, you may see a list of previously rendered clips. You just need to get rid of those. You can click on the little X's, or you can click on the ellipsis and click on clear rendered. Now, if I highlight job one and then hit start render, just job one will be rendered. I can hold control to select job two, so they're both highlighted, hit start render, and the rendering for both will begin. Now if you've got a whole bunch, say 10 projects that you want to render at the same time, you don't need to select them all. If you click in this empty space, anywhere you like, so that none of the jobs are selected, and then hit start render, it will start rendering everything within the render queue. So down here you can see it says rendering in progress, one of two jobs. You can go put the kettle on, leave this to do its thing, and all the projects within the render queue will be rendered. Winter is definitely coming, so I've had to wrap up warm, and I've got myself some nice hot chocolate to see me through. But that's that. It's a really useful thing to know, and it is sort of hidden away, so I figured it was worth spending the time to go through it. If you agree and think it was useful, thumbs up. If you've got any feedback, comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. If I don't see you before I will definitely see you guys next Friday for the next 5 Minute Friday.